Now this has to be among the top questions I get right before the exams. Sir, I only have a few months left before the exam and I've not been a very sincere student all my life. But now I have realized that I need to crack this and so I am willing to put in everything I have got for this exam. But the only problem is that there is this enormous syllabus and I don't know what to do. I obviously can't do everything. So I just want to know what are the top topics to know before going for the exam. Now, some of you may be like, ye kaise question hai? Agar sabko pata hota hai ki important kya hai, to fir sab pehle se padhai kyun start karte? So yes, you're right. No one truly knows what will show up on the exam. So the safest and the best thing to do is to read and know everything before going for it. But let me tell you this. Suppose Suppose you plan to go to Paris for a holiday and so you listed out the things that you want to see, kitna sightseeing karna hai, kaun se kaun se monuments dekhna hai and so you have this lovely two week plan to visit every part of Paris and enjoy the vacation. But what if something happens and you find out that you can only visit for one day and so you tell yourself, theek hai, I'm going there for only one day, I might as well see the most important thing there because you can't afford to visit everywhere. So which is this one place you will visit? Guess karo. Of course, Eiffel Tower, right? So the real question is, what is this Eiffel Tower for all the subjects and how do we identify them? But before we begin, let me thank the sponsor of this video, Wow Skin Science. Their natural red onion black seed oil ultimate hair kit helps tackle hair loss like no other solution. It's a zero stress hair fall prevention solution. These three products formulated with natural ingredients help strengthen hair follicles and prevent hair loss. The onion oil is made using a cold press technology which ensures nutritional value is retained. Black seed oil is rich in fatty acids which nourishes your scalp and promotes blood circulation to the roots. Use this ultimate onion oil hair kit to help improve hair texture and strengthen the strands. The best thing is that WOW products have consistent quality checks with high global standards. Click the link in the description and use the coupon to get 20% discount. Be WOW naturally. So following are the best ways I think you can use to identify the most important topics of a subject. Number one, previous year questions. See, you have to attempt at least last three years of the NEET PG or the AIMS or INI set exam questions. You don't necessarily have to get the questions correct. You just have to see what they're asking because this helps you figure out what topic they are interested in you to know. This is especially important for exams like INI set because they have a tendency to stick to the similar topics and questions. The second place where you can find the important topics are the revision videos on your app. Now, if you're a Maru user, watch the revision videos because all the teachers in the revision videos have selected the high yield topics and taught you right before the exam. They have designed these modules to give you the most important and necessary information in as little time as possible. The regular videos may have everything and beyond, but the revision videos have everything that is extremely important for your exam. So if you're running short of time for a particular subject, this is the source to refer to. The third important source to identify important topics for a subject is MCQ discussion videos or test and discussion modules. This is an indispensable resource for picking up important topics and understanding the mindset of the examiner who's trying to trick you while asking a question. So in the test and discussion or MCQ discussion module, the teacher is trying to discuss the question with you, trying to rule out the options to tell you how you should think when such a question presents itself on the exam. Because learning the topic isn't enough unless you understand how the questions will be asked from them and how to play around if they trick you. And I personally feel the skill to rule out the options is what separates the toppers from people who fail. Because you can't go to an exam expecting to read out a question and find the answer right below it. You will come across questions that will have information that you do not know. You'll have options that you have never heard of. It's this ability to rule out wrong options that brings you to the correct answer, even if that answer makes no sense to you. And this is what the test and discussion or MCQ discussion videos or modules will show you. They will show you how to approach an MCQ to rule out an option to reach the right answer. Now, the fourth handy tool to identify the important topics from a subject is the Q bank itself or the question bank itself. See, if you're someone who has been doing the question bank religiously, bookmarking the questions, or are a type who wants to read on their own, this is something you should look forward to. See, when you're solving questions in the question bank, look at the questions which more than 50% of the population has got right. Because Maru being a massive resource, most of the students appearing for this exam will be on it and they would have definitely 
actually tried out the question bank. So if a question is being answered by more than 50% of the population who's going to appear for the exam with you, you should definitely know that question and the topic as well. Like I said, this is important because even if a student is from a different platform, most of the students from across the platforms are still using the Marrow question bank because it's just so good. So if it shows that the majority of students know the answer, then you cannot afford to miss it. So if you follow these four things that I've just told you about, you'll be able to best use your limited time to identify the topics that are relevant for you and have a very high chance of being asked on the exam rather than wasting your time reading things that may or may not be asked on the exam. Now, some of you may think that this doesn't sound like it's enough. Trust me, you will not be able to finish all the things that I just talked about in a very limited time. So be smart, focus on these things that will give you more bang for your buck. I sincerely wish you all the best. And if you're struggling with grand test scores, this is one video I recommend you watch to improve your scores. So that's been it. I will see you on the other side. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.